Well, let's get some things started here going, guys. We have bowler attacks at the Town Hall 10 level. You need to watch to the end of the video. I'll show you four attacks, three fails, and one success on the same base. And yours truly at the end gets the three stars. So stick around to the end. It will be well worth it. How to crack a base. Now, this is not a max Town Hall 10 base, but still uh, hard to be beat nonetheless. There are max infernos, and the heroes are pretty high at that. So still difficult if you don't... Uh, execute properly. Uh, yes, you can, you know, this should be three starred from a Town Hall 10, especially with these bowlers, uh, the strategy, or even Valkyries could work here too. But I like bowlers on this. Now, he is coming up from the north there. Now, I don't suggest doing that. I would have come from the south. Why? Because the jump spell would have gotten, the first jump would have gotten into the Inferno Tower very quickly. Uh, but it's okay. He, he chose to come up north, and as you'll find out, the reason why it failed. Now, and the key here is uh, the healers. The healers were taken out way too soon. Now, he has max heroes here. Uh, max heroes, and he was not able to get this three star. But that's okay. You know, things happen. Uh, the main difference, again, those healers were taken out by the air defenses, and that's why this raid lost. Also, he's a little late on the bowlers. As you can tell, the queen is alone. You can't have the queen out all by herself for too long, especially as she gets into the core. Because, look, the healers are about to go down, and she's taking way too much damage. She's going to have to pop her ability maybe here soon or she might go down uh, luckily she didn't have to use her ability quite yet but as you can tell the bowlers are all clumped here to the uh, south area and what that is happens is uh, they're not going to be able to get to that other inferno tower quite quick enough and he you know he's a little late on the jump again these jump spells you can place them early i know a lot of times i forget to place them early but they last a long time and you don't want to have to forget um in the middle of the raid oh i gotta place the jump because that split second the king hesitated i think for a little bit to get to that inferno tower and so there was a fail now why did this fail well he lost his healers would he have three stars with the healers left um i think he would have had i think there would have been enough time um, if the healers had survived. So I'm going to end that one there. Of course, it was a fail. Uh, and we're going to show you the next one. Uh, thanks for sticking around, guys. I really appreciate it. I promise you will not be disappointed. You know, you need to learn how to use attacks and, and see a base and go after it. Now, this attack, this is where he comes in and where I would come in. This is the proper way to come in, I think. Um, because you want to take out that Inferno Tower very quickly, and you can do so. So obviously you're going to create the funnel, and he already knows what's in this base. He knows there's some Teslas down to the south. There's, this is the second attack on this um, base, so it should be easier. Uh, and the key here that the fail happened, one, I don't think you needed uh, well, two frees were fine. The key here is the jump spell was placed in the wrong location. And again, it's amazing how spell placements really make and break attacks. I mean, you would think, oh, they're not that, you know, they, they, they do help, but they're not going to make the huge difference at that. Of course, just creating the funnel using some minions and uh, archers on the either side. And that's okay. Going well. Um, I, at this point, I would have dropped my bowlers because, uh, see that army camp? They're not going to go west. They're going to still stick to uh, the, the core there south. So wait a little wasted time, in my opinion. And, you know, sometimes time is a huge factor in these raids um, when you get to it. But look. Wrong placement of the jump. Where he wanted to put the jump, he needed to hit that right compartment. The compartment where the king is in, if you notice that. If the jump had hit over there, so the bullers would have gone and taken out the Inferno Tower, then they would have hopped to the right core compartment. As you'll find out, they kind of got stuck to the south down there and went into the core, and you didn't want that. You wanted them to jump uh, to the king's compartment. And so they would path up to the north, and then you would use a freeze on the second Inferno Tower, and then they would take down the Inferno Tower. And he already knew the triple bombs were in that left compartment. He didn't even need that. Skip that compartment. Uh, so that's, you know, the fail of the jump spell, and, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Again, all those bowlers to the west, um, kind of south there, 
they shouldn't have been there. If they were up in the king's compartment, they would have been aiding the queen. Uh, but Sheila is left all alone. The healers are locked onto the golem. And you're just going to run out of time. Uh, not going to get this three star from Sue. But a good try nonetheless. Second attempt on this base. We have two more attempts, guys. Stick around. I know you probably are already gone, but who cares? You got to see the end of this raid. Again, just ran out of time. Not enough firepower left. Uh, and the third attack here. Now, the third attack comes from a solid attacker. All these guys are solid attackers. <clears throat> guys or girls, I don't even remember. I, dude, I, I can never remember um, which ones in the clan. Anyways, all the peoples. Um, so he's using barbarians on either end. Smart there. Uh, the key here and why he failed. Uh, he didn't create the funnel. Uh, you know, sometimes this happens, and that's okay. Uh, you know, uh, mistakes happen, things go wrong. Again, wrong jump spell. If you notice, he jumped in the same location as Sue, and that is not the way to go. What that is going to mean here, all his uh, all his bowlers to the south died by those Teslas. But so, as you can tell, the funnel is not going to be created. They go around the base. So, going to skip this. This was a big time fail, uh, but that's okay. It happens. You can't always get it done, my friends. You can't always get it done. Uh, but the key here, I already knew what I was going to do. And I'm going to show you exactly how to take down this base. It's just knowing the pathing of the uh, bowlers and figuring out what they need to do and how to get them to that second Inferno Tower. And that's the real key. So here we go, my friends. My friends, it is Halo Crowheads going for the three-star attack. Look at the army composition. Two freeze, one jump. I do not need to jump because I know no, the bowlers will hit the other inferno tower and what i'm going to do i'm going to freeze the first inferno tower and some of the clan castle at the same time and what that means is i will uh save some of my troops from the clan castle of course the air defenses will be taken out by my bowlers i want to make sure i have a wide spread to make sure those side uh, compartments. So the archer tower and the cannon there, you see that? You wanna get those out of the way so the rest of the bowlers will go towards the first inferno tower, then they'll hop and jump to this king compartment. Keep that in mind, the king compartment is critical. So the king compartment there, here we go. Dropping the bowlers, I put the bowlers down a little farther south. Um, they are doing their work and they're gonna take out those Teslas. Now, the problem is they did go down very quickly. I was a little nervous at this point. I did not create the funnel to the south. Uh, but luckily, I dropped a couple golems. Let me pause it here. Look at my jump spell placement. Now. I was very dangerous here. The bowlers could have easily passed to the south towards that elixir. I got a little lucky. Luckily, that bowler to the south took it out. But the jump spell placement is critical. They're all my bowlers are going to the core. They're going to hit the inferno tower. Here goes the freeze right there. Freeze some of the clan castle. They take down and then they hop. Look, the king, the golem, and a number of my bowlers hopped to the king compartment. What that means is. All those troops to uh, and, and the north are really going to make some difference. Um, I didn't lose a lot of troops to the south because um, uh, the they're going to get through that compartment. The triple bomb's not going to have any threat. I got I got kind of fortunate. Some bowlers went to the outside. That actually was a good thing for me uh, with two healers. So you know that's actually good. Having a widespread of bowlers actually helps sometimes to do that. Now the queen is alone. No. Excuse me. No healers with the queen. This is a problem. I do have the Inferno Tower left. So at this point, I was like, oh man, I don't know what's going to happen. I do have a lot of bowlers left, so that's good. Full queen health. And the key here is getting down that Inferno Tower. The second freeze came in handy. There it is. Barely got it. The queen will take down the Inferno Tower. And as you'll find out, because the queen stayed alive. Now look at this rage. Let me pause it. I have one rage left. I could have used it early on in the raid on the uh, the king compartment up with the, the king early on, but I didn't. I saved it. And if I did not save it, I would have lost. Not the most beautiful attack ever, but look, I saved the rage for my queen. And if she had gone down, I definitely went out of uh, three-star this attack. So you have to have the queen up and running. You know, with these bowler attacks and three-star in Town Hall 10s, if you use Valkyries or Miners or anything like that, I notice if the queen survives, 
you get that three star. So very important that I held off on the rage and from here on out, I'm just going to pick apart this base for the three star. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate that you stuck to the end if you did. And there you go, cracking a Town Hall 10 base using bowlers. Check that out. I was very happy with that attack. Very tough stuff. Let's just see what's gonna break down. The key to this, jump spell. You needed to make sure you wanted to go to the king compartment. Why? It was away from the triple bombs. It was also gonna path towards the other inferno tower, which I wanted. And gonna um, make sure the, the, the spread was there. Now, there was a fail on the south, that Tesla farm. I didn't have, did not have enough bowlers, so that was a big time fail. So, got a little lucky there. And then a number of my bowlers went to the outside, which was not a bad thing. It was actually a pretty good thing that they went to the outside. Uh, would it have been better if they'd gone to the core? Sure. Anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Halo out.